All right, so to finish up our discussion of integration by parts, I want to do one integration by parts where we have a definite integral. So the only change to the formula uv minus integral v du is that I'm going to stick in the limits now in these appropriate places. I mean, I've actually got to plug in the limits a to b, okay, in order to do that. Um, let me just say, hint, hint, wink, wink, on the sequel. That's all I have to say. Okay, so let's try and do um, the integration by parts. So we need to set up a u and we need to set up a dv. Um, integral of an inverse tangent. We know we have a formula for, so I could put that over here, just put the one here, but you never want to do that, by the way. I mean, it's, it's, it's ridiculous to ever choose to put a one here, right? And the whole rest of the integrand over here. Do you see why that would be a, a waste of time? Because what's the derivative of u then? Zero, right? So du becomes zero. And the whole problem is now trying to integrate the thing you're trying to integrate. So that doesn't make any sense. So the only, uh, the only possible choice here is to do tangent inverse of x and dv to be just dx, which makes v x. And what's the derivative of inverse tangent? For the record, I don't have any of the inverse trig functions derivatives memorized except this one. And there's no good reason for you to have it memorized yet, but by the end of this semester, there's a good reason later on to remember this one above all else. It has to do with sequences and series that we get to later in this. It's 1 over 1 plus x squared. All right. So that means this now is what? Integral of 0 to 1 tangent inverse of x dx equals uv x arctan of x from 0 to 1 minus what? Why is that easier to integrate than what we started with? How am I going to integrate this? No, you, can't, you can't break up a denominator. Yeah, but you're, yeah, it's good that you see that because that's the thing we often forget we can do. So what kind of integration techniques do you have at your disposal? Substitution, right? If you let u over here be what? Then your du is 2x dx. So all you're missing now is a 2, right? So I stick the 2 in there, and there's my du. But if you put a 2 in, you pull a 2 out. And then all of this here is u. Okay. Right, so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and do two steps at the same time. Over here in this green box that I'm gonna draw around this thing, I just got to plug in one into that and zero into that and subtract the two, right? So you'd have 1 times tangent inverse of 1 minus 0 tangent inverse of 0 minus 1 half integral of 1 over u du. Remember, when you do substitution on a definite integral, you change three things, integrand, differential, and limits. So what's... Uh, u at uh, x equals 0. 
from this formula right there? One. one. And u at x equals one. Remember, I'm just taking these limits and plugging them in for the substitution. So I get two. So this is now one to two. When substituting, change integrand, differential, and the limits. One, two, three. Just a side note. You don't have to write that down if you remember that, but that's I want you to remember that. All right, so let's uh, simplify the pieces here. What's a tangent inverse of one? Well, remember, tangent inverse is saying what angle, when I take its tangent, gives me 1. Remember, tangent is opposite over adjacent triangles, right? So which triangle has opposite over adjacent is 1? That is where this side is the same length as this side. Pi over 4. You can also plug that into a calculator to get that, but that's... Pi over 4. Not 2. I said 4. I think hand it right. Okay. All right. What angle such that tangent theta equals 1 implies theta is pi over 4? That's just a reminder where that came from. Okay. And then, of course, this is just 0. So pi over 4 minus 1 half. And what's the integral of 1 over u? Yep. From 1 to 2. So you get pi over 4 minus 1 half. <coughs> natural log 2 minus natural log 1. Remember natural log of 1? What number do you have to raise e to to get 1? e to the what is 1? So it's 0. Any log of 1 is 0. Log base e, log base 2, log base 10. But log base e of uh, 2, log of 2, is some decimal number, which I don't know. So I'm just going to write that as 1 half log of 2. So that's my final answer. Okay? Practice, practice, practice. That's how we get better at integration. We see all these techniques... And notice how they end up mixing together, right? So the first attempt on this one, uh, we went ahead and went with integration by parts, but we ended up having to do a substitution in order to get the final integral all the way done. So this was an integration by parts followed by a substitution. So how do I know, um, this is the, kind of the essential question of all the examples, how do I know which one to choose as u and which one is dv? I meant to put a dv there. And... It's basically trial and error. You try something, and if your integral gets better, you're on the right track. You can take it, you're done. If you can try integration by parts again, and it gets simpler every time, then you're on the right track. But the idea is there's possibilities where you have to end up moving things to the other side. Um, there's also educated guessing. Trial and error means you, you learn from your mistakes, hopefully. And uh, this acronym was introduced in the instructor's, like, uh, manual to help teach this. I've never heard this before, but I thought I'd throw it at you. Of the order in which you should try things. Okay, if you see a logarithm, in the integrand, that's a best choice for u. Meaning the you know the the u, not the dv. So if you see a logarithm in there, include that part of the integrand as the logarithm. Uh, as the as the u. If you see an inverse trig function, 
Lie 8. Logarithm inverse trig function. Next, go with the algebraic. That means like the polynomial or like the x squareds or x cubes or x to the fourth, that kind of stuff. Then try the straight up trigonometric functions. Trigonometric, that's not a word. Trigonometric. And then last of all, you would try exponentials. The e to the powers. Okay? And that's that. That's the end of uh, 7.1.